could probably fit a few more calls in just a bit, but right now we're going to do our daily debate. So here it goes. Remember, this weekend, a lot of Bellator action coming. So this is, uh, this is pertinent right here to Bellator 207 and 208. With Bellator MMA's Heavyweight Grand Prix semifinals happening this weekend at Bellator 207 and Bellator 208, which two fighters do you see advancing to the finals? Bader versus Sonnen, Emelianenko versus Mitrion, Bader versus Emelianenko, or Mitrion versus Sonnen? John. Man, I got to be honest with you. I'm feeling pretty good with Bader over Mitrion. I'm feeling pretty good about that one. No disrespect to Matt Mitrion, but just the way the, the matchup plays out, I like Bader. I'm on the fence with Chael and Fedor, man. You too? I, 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 am, I am struggling with that one. Uh, I mean, Fedor, one of the greatest of all time, no question about it. But he's up there a little bit, you know. And, uh, you know, it, does he still have it? Chael, meanwhile, the wrestling. Could, I'm pulling the trigger on Chael. I know it may, yeah. it may sound crazy, but I'm pulling, the, I'm, I'm pulling the trigger on Chael. So give me Bader and Chael Sonnen as your final. All right, goes. This is going to completely contradict what my breakdown was. I'm on board with Mr. Morgan, and the one thing that tipped me over was, what am I going to feel dumber if Fedor knocks out Chael or if Chael just takes him down and rides him out? Right. And I think it'd be if Chael took him down. I, I, I'm going to go that same route. Mm -hmm. Dan Tom. I'm with you guys on the the, the, Ch the Ch Ch Chael Sonnen and, and Fedor matchup. That one is much closer than I think most of us would have expected uh, through multiple iterations of, of it ever being put together through their careers. But uh, I, I did end up siding with Fedor, and then of course in the other bracket, um, I, I thought you know Bader would be kind of a dark horse from the onset, but he kind of got favorite odds as this thing really really took motion. So I, I see a Bader Elmelianenko. Bader versus Elmelianenko. All right. Whew. See, I would also contradict because I lean towards Sun Sonnen when we had our main event breakdown. It's going right. to be close, man. I love the speed on Fedor's hands. He goes out there and he's ready to crack. Um, back in the day, he could, st could stop the takedown. It seemed like his hips. He always had pretty good hips. Mm -hmm. The ability to get up from his feet, but he is an older guy. Um, Sonnen is so committed to just winning and doesn't matter how he gets the job done. Uh, that That's why I went with him. I'm gonna, I guess I'll stick with it. Bader versus Sonnen for me. But, boy, that Melianenko fight, man. That, 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 that's going to be a really, really close fight. I can't wait to see it. And even Charles Sonnen will tell you, hey, I could very much be laying there. Fedor you're, could you're go around just flatten him. You're going to have to wake me up. To, I'm going Fader, Fader and, and Bader. I just convinced you? Yeah, you just convinced <laughs> me. All right, yeah. Well, wow, it's a close one. So this is how it played out here. In fact, i got to put my vote in because I think, I think we still have four minutes left. Four? Something like that, yeah. So where this is close <laughs> enough here, Bader versus Emelianenko goes, they agree with you. Right. That's 33%. 31% said, wait, you said Bader and Emelianenko, right? Yep. So agrees with these two. 31% Bader and Sonnen, so John and I. 21% mm. Emelianenko versus Mitrione, and 15% Mitrione versus Sonnen. This wow. is pretty balanced, fellas. Wow. 1,474 votes came in, and it was right down to the wire. Interesting. All right, thank you to Junkie Nation, our readers and listeners, for participating in our daily debate.